Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spot Connection with Willie with Comic Grown Up. We've made it through this week's X Men books as well as quite a few others. Now it's time to move on to this week's Venom books. Kicking things off, we've got Venom number 37. Actually, this is the, the uh, Venom War books. So, yeah. But, anyways, this ties into Venom War. Um, <clears throat> where we left off in Venom, Dylan Brock. The uh, old man Dylan had uh, gone to the past and uh, had encountered, uh, well, with the intention of uh, taking a sample of some type from Molten Man, which is, and that's where the issue opens. However, Spider-Man has uh, intervened, though Dylan doesn't want doesn't want to hurt him. And then uh, Dylan turns it turns into Venom, and uh, though Dylan also makes a point of. Uh, Trying to keep Venom under control. And calls Spider-Man Peter, which leads uh, Spidey to stop fighting and ask, uh, You know, if he if he knows Dylan, but Dylan s tells him that uh, he doesn't. Uh, but at some point in the future, they'll become something like friends or at least allies. And uh, Pete webs up uh, Dylan, but Dylan escapes while uh, Old Man uh, was getting away. But it turns out that uh, <clears throat> the other one of the other locations uh, Dylan was uh, heading to was Zenith Sanctorum. And so he uh, talks to Doctor Strange, noting that. Uh, the Sanctum does not, doesn't have door handles on, on the doors, leading him to, call, to uh, think of uh, Strange as an insufferable dork. But uh, Strange separates uh, Venom from uh, Dylan, but uh, he, he explains that uh, if he's separated from uh, Dylan explains that if he's severed from Venom, he'll die. But uh, they're interact. They're uh, the fact that they're uh, that Dylan is visiting uh, Strange in the past has also. Uh, uh, Meridius watching. So Dylan explains to uh, Strange and shows Strange a uh, a memory of last time Dylan talked with uh, Doctor Strange in his his present before the destruction of the sanctum, of the sanctum. but uh, the two of them uh, entered, entered Chathon's uh, domain with uh, Strange 
telling uh, Dylan not to make any, any make any, not take make any deals with it, demons, not to give anything away. And so they uh, wade through the denizens of Chathon's realm, and uh, as the ground shakes, and part of it rises, presumably, to, for them to face Chathon. That is where the issue ends. Interesting. Time travel can be a headache sometimes, but uh, even, even in comics, sometimes especially in comics. But anyways, moving on to our next book, we've got Venom War Carnage, number two. Where we left off, Venom had, uh, or Carnage had possessed, taken over the body of a, uh, of an Alchemax, uh, security employee. The issue begins with, uh, Carnage infiltrating, uh, the building with uh, one of the labs with uh, under, the, under the guise of uh, said employee. But uh, it turned out they're uh, interested in the in Alchemax's K program, which uh, developed a weapon to uh, a legal weapon for uh, against uh, symbiotes. And so, under the guise of Alchemax employee uh, Finn Taylor, they will trade the lab for the. Uh, or labs for the case for the gay pro K project. Um, there's showing being shown uh, people who are uh, or hosts of symbiotes, but which all seem to know that Carnage is uh, is basically writing. Uh, Finn Taylor. But, um, they managed to, uh, Dockmax has managed to make, uh, K ammunition that can be ma made for and shot by any ordinary high caliber weapon. And it demonstrates that it's, it's demonstrated for, uh, Finn. But uh, in the lab, there, Finn is Finn. Carnage is shown various the various ho symbiote horrors that uh, Aquax has created, which, is, which are generally uh, more torture. And then some of the uh, symbiotes uh, get a bit of autonomy and uh, attack Finn, revealing his true nature. Uh, the K-chemical K is uh, utilized uh, to, on the symbiotes, and uh, Carnage rips, rips his way out of uh, Finn. And rips his way through various uh, Alchemax security guards until he's run through by Meridius. And that is where the issue ends. It should be noted that uh, as he was run through by uh, Meridius, Carnage was welcomed home by Meridius. 
Moving on, though, to our last book for the moment, we've got Venom War, Wolverine, number one. So, uh, the, day, the day after uh, the beginning of the Venom War, um, Logan is in uh, Manhattan, playing pool at a dive bar in, uh, on the island, and uh, he gets... Uh, his opponent uh, calls a shot, eight ball, side pocket, and uh, the ball angles up and hits Logan in the eye. Root calling Logan to take off his hat and uh, show the kid who he is, but yeah, he's not gonna. You know, no harm, no foul. Kid uh, makes a phone call uh, outside the bar and uh, gets possessed by a symbiote. Apparently, um, the bartender uh, lets her know what points out the uh, story that's going on uh, and the news that's going on, and it sounds like it might be uh, one of his. And uh, It's not the uh, kind of situation that he's probably good in, but uh, the venomized bar pa now venomized bar patron uh, pops up to uh, comes out of the uh, comes out of the bathroom and uh, along with uh, a dead. Uh, a zombie out, and uh, Logan takes care of the zombie out, and then the, and the other, and then the kid uh, possesses, takes the kid's uh, symbiote out, takes control of Wolverine, and. Uh, he leaves on his bike, remembering uh, various things from his past, and uh, he turns up in a town in upstate New York, apparently a uh, in front of a, a uh, barmaid that uh, he was friends with years previously. Apparently, the uh, the former owner uh, was uh, was abusive towards her, and uh, seemingly uh, or potentially to her to her kid. Uh, until Wolverine cut out to his fingers. But, uh, Logan doesn't remember where, how he got to, uh, the place, but, uh, and it suggested that maybe he should be fighting off, off the symbiotes, but he, uh, he points out that symbiotes, zombie symbiotes, Sometimes me being in a place only makes makes it more dangerous. So he's gonna try and wait, sit here, wait for things to blow over. Turns out though that uh, the symbiote he that he had, uh, well, it's gotten into the uh, cemetery, and that is where the issue ends. Interesting setup. Uh, three issue miniseries. It's the last iteration of uh, Venom War. So, anyways, that's to do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Blue Sky, Mastodon, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. 
big shout out to uh, Rebbe, Patreon patron uh, Rebbe Zapinas. Your uh, support is greatly appreciated. Um, this is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.